We talk about time all the time. In fact, it's the most commonly used noun in the English language. So we must understand it, or do we? We have a whole range of measures of time, and we measure time incredibly precisely. So clearly it's important to us, but what is time? Isaac Newton said what we all know. Time is absolute. It's not malleable. Two centuries later, Einstein spent 10 years trying to distinguish why Newtonian mechanics and Maxwell's electromagnetism disagreed with each other until finally it came to him that time was suspect. Einstein's willingness to give latitude to time led to counterintuitive consequences of special relativity. Two events that are simultaneous for observer one are not simultaneous for observer two. And observer one will see observer two's clocks ticking slowly. Time is malleable, troubling, but true. Well, surely everyday concepts such as past, present, and future must be straightforward. Well, relativity intrudes again. Our observers will disagree whether a given event uh, occurred in their past, present, or future. And this leads some physicists to say that all events simply exist in space and time. This concept of block time means that we don't have free will. We can't choose what to do because the future is already there. Bummer. <laughs> well, we know that things are fixed in the past because, well, that's in the past and we remember them. And we know that there's a direction in time from the past to the future. Because Humpty Dumpty can break, but we can't unbreak him. Interesting, because the laws of physics are the same whether you go forward or backward in time. But you say, you just told me that Humpty Dumpty breaks, and that means his disorder increases, and that gives the arrow to time. Well, spoiler alert, um, physics also says that disorder not only should increase going forward, but it should also increase going backward in time. But that's not what we experience. So apparently, the disorder in the universe was much lower in the past than it is now. And that leads some scientists to propose a past hypothesis just to clarify why we have a past. OK, so fixed future, hypothesized past, well, at least there's the present, which our brain constructs. So your subconscious takes in stimuli and it correlates them, like the sight and sound of that balloon popping. If you were part of a study where you were asked to click a screen and a block would move, when, and, and that movement of the block was delayed by 250 milliseconds, your brain would still think of the clicking and the moving as simultaneous until the time delay was removed and then you would see the block move before you clicked. Ambiguous present. So what is time? Maybe you agree with um, Augustine that you don't know. Why then do we speak so often of that which we do not understand? <laughs>